Hello, and in this video, I will be showing you guys how to import real world height map data with textures into Magical Voxel. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is get height map data and textures. So we're going to search up height map dot skydark dot pl. Hit OK. And it should take you into this Google Maps style street view looking thing. And we can drag this this box is the box that renders whatever um, part of the world that we select and you can either drag this gray box uh, this blue box around to move your location or you can just hover over a spot and left click and it should take you there so i recently went on a trip to japan and i really like the scenery there so i'm just going to go over to where japan is And you can use this uh, map layer as a reference to figure out where you are on the map. For instance, this is Tokyo. So maybe I want somewhere in Tokyo, like um, this mountain right here. But we want to switch over to um, a different map style to see exactly what we're going to copy. So right now it's set to outdoors. Let's set it to satellite to see what it looks like from the top down and now we can fine tune our selection here and pick a spot where we see a bunch of contours so i'm just gonna click right there it looks good now we want to open up this information box right here which allows us to adjust some settings what we want to do is adjust the base level and height scale and instead of dragging these sliders, you can just click the calculate buttons here and it should automatically adjust the um, settings to, to make this height map work. And now we just want to hit download PNG height map. And we also want to download the map image. And it's important to have it on satellite because when you hit download map image, it will download whatever this is showing. So if you're set to street view, and you hit this button, it will download this and it's not what we want. So I'm gonna switch it back to satellite, download map image. And these two files should be in your downloads folder. Let's go to them. So in the downloads folder, I have two files, the height map file, which is the grayscale height map that we use for the, the um, height and the actual terrain file. And we're going to use these two files in conjunction with file to vox, which I will leave in the description below, to uh, generate the height map. So right here in Lazy GUI, this is what the UI should look like. We just want to fill out a couple of things. First, we need to find uh, file to vox. So you hit browse and find where you save the file to vox zip file. Right here, I have it saved here and you want to open it and click the executable file Hit open now that part's filled now file this is where we'll put our height map so get the height map not the textures the actual grayscale height map open so you filled that output path you can set it to wherever you like if you leave this blank it would be in the same folder the height map is in so let's go ahead and just leave it in the downloads folder right here we can ignore most of this stuff except for color limit by default it will set the voxel file to 256 and it's not very really practical because you can't really use any other colors to uh, make your custom models and if you want to put it in there so i'm going to set it something like 15 which should be plenty enough and then the scale, I'm going to leave the same. Uh, height map value, if you leave this blank, it will generate basically a value of zero. So we want to give it a pretty large number, but nothing too big. So I'm just going to go with 128. This will be uh, 128 on the Z axis for the height. And this is where we put the 
texture file that we saved earlier. And it should be in downloads right here and open. So before we hit convert, we need to change the resolution of this height map file because right now it is not the same as the height map. And if we hit convert, it will give an error. So to fix that, we just go back to web downloads. We want to right click our height map file. And actually, if you just hover over the height map, it should tell you the dimensions 1081 by 1081. So with that in mind, right left click on the height or left click on the map and right click resize image. And for width and height, you can set the 1081, save. And we're just going to save in the same spot. We can close that and close that. And we hit convert. And um, now this is going. Depending on your system, this can take some time. So be patient. So after it finishes, you can just close this window and close this window as well. Go to your downloads folder where the file is saved. Left click the height map file or the voxel file, and then expand this. And you can see we have imported a real world height map into Magica Voxel with the textures. And if we hit render, you can see it renders only partial it. So to render the whole thing, you just want to go to these three bars and turn on sparse. And after some time, it should load the whole height map. So after it's finally loaded in, you can see that we have a pretty realistic height map that we found um, in the world and put it in the magic voxel. I hope this tutorial has helped and I'll see you guys in the next one.